to be able to do my martial arts and I want to be able to, I don't know if I'll do it, but um, land a canopy okay. from skydiving. And if you do, you have to, sometimes you run it out. Right. Either, either that or you do a baseball slide in. And where I really feel the weakness is if I try and pivot to punch. Well, especially if my right leg, which is my ACL leg, mm -hmm. if, I, if, if it's my base leg and I try and turn, mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't even do it without my Don Joy Performance 3 brace on. Okay. Definitely. I wouldn't do it. It just doesn't feel like it's tight. Mm -hmm. And I definitely know the, um, the right quad is not up to speed to where the left one is. On the medial side, it's like there's a sharp pain. Okay. Which... That, that bothers me a little bit, mm -hmm. and he didn't he didn't say anything, so I don't know if that's typical, if it's scar tissue, I don't okay. know what it could be. Gotcha. And, uh, and I've been, you know, I ice it and stretch it probably five out of seven nights a week. Okay. Just to put, I put the, put the dumbbells on it and just try and stretch it down straight while I'm icing it from after the day's activities. Okay, gotcha. And then my, my ankle still swells. And that part I can't figure out either. I mean, you know, I'm 15 months out, mm -hmm. and I've jogged three times since. And every time that I do that on the treadmill at the wellness center, it seems to get a little bit better. Okay. And I try to push myself a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, maybe at 65, I'm not quite the 45 that I think or want to be. Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, discomfort level, 0 through 10. What are you feeling? I'm going to say maybe a five or a six or a seven. Okay. It's, it's kind of like a, it's one of those pains that's kind of like a, a sharp pain. Okay. Hop out toward you. Um, yeah, back up just a little bit. Go ahead and go ahead. Good. And then reset and let's go right leg. And what are you feeling there? What's what's the ultimate limiting factor? If it's possible to put it into one thing. Well, part of it is, I mean, I, I literally know that the calf doesn't work as well as the left. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know if it's just psychological or what. You know, I don't know if I'm at that point where it's like, mm -hmm. I've always had a high pain tolerance, but... Yeah, we just need to go right to the VMO and the VL because those are the two areas that are shut down right after surgery at, at the highest level. So we need to activate those areas and get them working properly so then we can kind of build that foundation and then get to other areas of the body that may be guarding or protecting. So um, we're going to stick with that VMO, VL today. Um, and get some work in there, okay? Okay. take a seat once you're ready Good. and you're just gonna simply gonna stand back up so go ahead and stand up good and then back down good and back up excellent at the top here I really want you to think about extending the knees All right so we, want to, we really want to work that extension at the top um, and I want you to work really hard into that extension because I want to activate the quads while you're working that extension so at the top, we'll get a good squeeze, and then we'll sit back down. And then we'll drive up again, drive up, drive up, all the way through, squeeze, good. And we'll work that, okay? So we'll do um, we'll do about 10 minutes of work. Uh, we'll take a break, and then we'll do 10 more minutes of work. We'll work in sets of five, okay? So we'll do five reps at a time, 
then we'll go up again on the device. We'll go five sets at a time, go up again on the device. Okay, and we'll keep that pattern for maybe seven to 10 minutes, take a okay. break, and then do it again. Um, the other exercise I do want to get into is going to be a form of like a, uh, um, I, I guess if you don't want to call it a, uh, a jump squat, but a similar exercise where we're not actually leaving the ground. We're still keeping our toes on the ground. So it's almost like a half air squat where we're still getting our heels, some lift underneath the heels, but it's more of like a calf raise, like a squat into a calf raise, if that makes sense. So go ahead and stand up, and then as you're standing up, drive up and kind of explode through the feet. Yep, good, and back down. Go ahead and back up again. So come up like that on my yeah. toes? Yeah, that's perfect. So I do want to simulate you kind of getting that calf involved a little bit while we're, while we're working the quad. Yeah, that's perfect. Good. Okay, good. So um, what we'll do, we'll superset that, all right? So we'll do uh, five... Uh, uh, squats and then five air uh jump squats okay and that will be one round and then we'll go up again Yep, engage that, engage that right big toe. Don't allow, when you come up into that calf raise at the end of the jump squat, don't allow your foot to roll out to the side. So do you want me to squeeze the floor? Uh, I more so want you to, if you see my hand here, Yeah. Um, instead of rolling off to the side, I want you to drive kind of straight over top the feet, over top the toes. I'll try. Yep, Watch good. Well, that's, uh, that's all we're looking for. You may may not get, obviously, get this down 100% today. It's been, obviously, a long time in the in the making here that that big toe does not want to cooperate 100%. So, we may it's just made something that we need to work through, which is completely fine. Okay. Okay. of a jump squat I want to switch to just the standing calf raise um, but it would be ideal if go ahead and let's stand up go ahead and stand up and we'll kind of talk through that um, go into a just a five calf raises And you feel that, you see that right ankle kind of pointing out diagonally to your right? Yeah, it, it wants to roll out. Yeah, can we get into more of the big toe? You know, I don't know if I started doing that because of that pain in here. Okay. I, I don't know. Yeah, sure. Would it help if... Um, would it help? I, I see some uh, some poles back there to your left. The, some what? The poles to your left. Would it help if you put that in front of you to kind of help guide you up a little bit so you're not just using complete body weight? And I, I'll still have to work on it because... Yeah, that's fine. Man, that just... I think I've probably rolled that foot out like that for years. I don't even know. Start, yeah. though, with squats, and then we'll do five calf raises. So... We'll kind of alternate back and forth here now. Uh, beautiful. Good. Go ahead and put the stick down. We'll just take a seat. Work to the next output power here. Um, really, we're just going to go max tolerance here, okay? So as high as you can go. Maybe 80, 85. We'll see what we can get to. This is going to be our last set before we take a break.
Okay. All right. What do we have? Not, what is it? 90. Wow. Nice work. Drive through those heels. Good job. Extend at the top. So make sure you get a good extension at the top here. Good. Nice job with the hips. Three more. Drive. Extend. Two more. Extend to the top. Good. And one more. Good. Stay standing. Grab the stick. And uh, let's drive up. Good. Nice work. Fix the right foot then in between sets. Yep. Good. Excellent. Three. Good. Four. Nice job. Stay on the inside of that right foot. And five. Good. Back down. And you can turn it all the way back down to zero. Something to think about here after the session, you know, while you're walking around throughout the day, moving around, um, thinking about how you're activating your right foot compared to the left foot when walking. And if you're feeling like maybe what typically happens here, if, if a pattern's coming out in this process, it's going to be coming out somewhere else. So where else can we really take advantage of uh, engaging that right big toe outside of here? So whether it's walking, whether it's, you know, going up and down the steps, whether it's, um, you know, just getting around in the kitchen, whether it's training the clients, whatever it is, keep that right toe activated because I'm going to assume that you may um, – at times tend to stray to the outside of the foot. Um, and that's going to help obviously just the rest of the leg function normally uh, to have a regular pattern just like the left does. Go ahead and get that right leg into extension. And you let me know zero through 10 what you're feeling. doesn't seem that spot doesn't seem to bother me quite as much awesome uh, it, if it feels it feels and looks like it's a little straighter too than when we started excellent what would you say zero through ten if you had to put a number to that what would you say that zero through ten what's the number as far as what the extension uh, as far as discomfort pain Oh, great. So it went from maybe a 5, 6, or a 7 to a 1. Fantastic. Okay.